Hey everyone, it's Bud, and I'm back with another stuff. Today is Thursday, February 10th, and it's the morning time. It's roughly 5.50 a.m. Central Time, and I hope you guys are doing well. Alright guys, it is officially Thursday. And I'm feeling great. We've made it through a pretty good chunk of the week, guys. We've got to keep grinding just a, just a little bit more, and we've got ourselves a nice weekend. I'm excited to hang out with you guys the entire time, too. Um, we've got to talk about some stuff today, okay, guys? We've got to talk about a little bit of uh, information that's been going around. I've, I've let it digest, um, and I'm ready to give my opinion on it. And, of course, I am talking about the interview with this, like, wax guy, NFT kind of guy, whoever this guy is. Who is this guy? I literally, it doesn't even say. Like, that's how I know this guy isn't nothing. All right, we'll talk about it, though, okay? Um, we're going to talk about that. We've got a couple normal things to go over. Uh, just a quick refresher about the drop. And I'll have you guys on your way for a beautiful, beautiful Thursday, guys, seriously. Okay. Wow. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I'm feeling fine. I got a pretty good amount of sleep. Um, woke up early. I've been up coffee obviously a lot of it um and yeah i've just been hanging out um pokemon stuff been watching some random youtube videos i watched about the history of cinnamon so i know that now um yeah what am i even doing guys i don't even know uh but <sighs> we got some stuff to talk about guys so let's go ahead and dive into it all right I'll have the spreadsheet linked in the description down below in case you're curious, uh, but let's go ahead and dive straight into it, guys. This is a YouTube video that was posted here from a YouTube channel known as Paul Baron Network, I suppose. Um, it's called Wax Interview, um, so this is exactly what I was saying. It doesn't even say who this guy is anywhere. Oh, wait. Guest William Quigley. Okay, there it is. William Quigley. All right, so this is William Quigley right here co-founder of wax um now this guy has said some things that were short-sighted a little bit strange definitely derogatory in some ways toward vv so let's talk about it all right first and foremost i want to say i kind of agree with um gary v on some of this stuff here i'm going to go back to gary v a guy that don't necessarily 100 percent agree with but one thing that gary v said is is it's this this game we're in is a game of and and not a game of or it is not wax or vv it is wax and vv i agree with gary v on that i truly believe that so for him to come out here and kind of have this mentality like it's either going to be wax or vv and just right off the bat just rubs me the wrong way it's like he's not He's trying to take us out, you know what I mean? He like, In his mind, in an ideal world, he takes us out. In my mind, in an ideal world, we coexist. So like, that's first thing I want to get off my chest. Second thing I want to get off my chest, we're going to kind of do a couple serious things, and maybe a couple things that might just be a little bit out there, right? Second thing I want to get off my chest is I think I can take this guy seriously, right? I swear to gosh, I think I can. Um just tossing it out there. I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are down in the comments down below. Um, somebody, like, honestly, somebody get grab this guy's lunch money, toss him a quick swirly, and get him out of here. All right? Seriously, what are we doing? Um, but, okay, so let's go back to the actually, like, what he's talking about now. This guy is sitting here describing Wax and, like, describing, like, his vision for Wax, like, in the earlier parts of the interview, like, before he talks about Vivi. And it's... It's insane because, like, what he's describing is exactly VV. Like, literally. It's like he's describing, like, you know, the problem with adoption and stuff like that. And, like, he's talking about how he's made, like, a simple application on the web or whatever web platform. I don't even know what he's even got going on. But he's saying he's, like, trying to make that easy for the average person. I'm just like, VV is as easy as it can get for the average person. Like, what are you talking about? Okay, now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is kind of like his m talking about the actual NFTs themselves and necessarily, like, effectively saying that they're not NFTs and that Disney doesn't have any NFTs and, and all that. First of all, the word NFT is a terrible term to use in this instance because, honestly, 
it could mean a couple different things to a couple different people. So to just say that term like that and throw it out casually is a little bit um, foolish. It kind of shows a little bit of a lack of intelligence more than anything to use language so like carelessly like that, right? It shows a real lack of intelligence, really, on Sir uh, Mr. William Quigley's part here, right? Um, so that's my that's like one thing I wanted to say, and and also um, one thing I wanted to say is like. I, I I I mean I could we could we could really dive into this and go really deep into it, but ultimately, first of all, the NFTs are on Ethereum blockchain. First of all, like I guess like maybe his his like the real crux of his argument I suppose from when I watched it was really just that they can't be taken off app, right? And it's like, like okay. What I'll just say is that, like, to, like, it's true that we can't take the NFTs off the app, okay? Let's just get that right out of the wave right off the bat, right? That's a fact. You cannot take the NFTs off the app right now. But, like, we're judging this based on, like, what it is today rather than, like, what it will be shortly, right? Not that long in the future, not so far off, right? Um, Vivi is a completely brand new company and to pretend like they should have had this like figured out already is absurd because they're not a company that's following anybody else's like footprint really if you want my opinion so I think it's really short-sighted here uh, for William you know this isn't a lack of intelligence thing but it is a really short-sighted statement to make um, you know it's 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 kind of you know we're talking about somebody here who would probably be scared to talk to even somebody like me because, like, I'm not like this host here. Like, this host could have pushed back, right? But he didn't, you know? And he wouldn't want to talk to somebody like me because I will push back. And I'm not going to lie to you. It will become immediately apparent that, like, one of us is, like, really intelligent. One of us is kind of run-of-the-mill. So I don't really want to do that to him. But ultimately, um, yeah, no, I think... Uh, I think our friend William Quigley here has made some short-sighted statements. Uh, I think that this is a person who is in competition with Vivi in a lot of ways and for that reason feels the need to position him in this way. Um, and, you know... Maybe it, maybe just the the state, you know, the state of business and the state of business in America or whatever forced his hand to kind of take a response like this. But at the same time, like, I don't know, it's 2021, man. You could be honest and and be real here and just admit that Vivi has done some things fantastically and that maybe Wax has done some things pretty well. But like, I don't know, like, I don't know. All I've got to say is our friend. Uh, our friend here may be talking a little bit uh, sideways, and uh, I think that uh, as time progresses here, our friend will be forced to eat his words, um, and uh, yeah, feel bad for him. All right, let's shout out some homies over here on uh, Reddit here. We've got Wolfie, we've got Eric, we've got Bacon, we've got Mabo, we've got... Tasty Pies, we've got Aerolinks, we've got Academic Set, we've got Queasy Bicycle, we've got Credit Credit Puzzle Headed, we've got Feeling Salad, we've got, uh, same people there, uh, Ghost Commissal, or Comsol, we've got uh, Harry James, we've got Rabbit Rooster, and Will Mayvivi. Shout out to all of our homies on Reddit, shout out to all of our homies on Twitter, everywhere. Shout out to everybody, right? And last but not least, we do have Omi's price trading at 0 0.007062. Omi can be your homie. I'm not going to be your daddy and nothing in this video is financial advice. And you guys already know that. Whew. We do have a drop coming up today, guys. Uh, don't forget that uh, we have the Black Panther comic coming up today. Um, very excited. I'm definitely going to be taking part in that, my friends. Uh, good luck to you if you are. And... Uh, you know, focus on practicing on the drop. You know, try to get better. Uh, it's The drops are getting very tricky. Like, for me, I know for me personally, I have, like, literally the tiniest margin of error. If I even mess up the slightest bit, I know I missed it. So, like, my margin of error is thin. So, for me to hit, any, like, 
for me to sequentially hit drops over and over is like impossible because I do make mistakes. So um, what you guys got to figure out is you've got to figure out like what your threshold is and what methods work best for you. And uh, check out my homie VV Walt. He's got all the best tips and all that, of course. And uh, that's really all we have uh, for today, my friends. Kind of a longer video here, but I had to address the, the FUD, right? With that being said, everybody, oh, let's talk about some market stuff really quick overnight. Um, feels like a lot of stuff may have bottomed out overnight on the market, and uh, some pieces getting a little bit of buying pressure here in the early hours of the day here. Um, but really, not like going up, but really just kind of bottoming out, so to speak. Uh, I definitely noticed a, a little bit of upward pressure maybe on some Disney Golden Moments piece. I'm thinking Wally. Um, I'm thinking. Um, C3PO maybe, uh, but that's just my men my mentality on it, guys, and that's what I've been noticing. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thursday, everybody. Seriously, let's keep killing it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.